Do you write documentation or rather proper documentation for your code? Here's what proper code and project documentation looks like. Every project or code base should have a readme file, header documentation, and inline documentation. First, we have the readme file. It's usually a markdown text file located in the root directory of the project. It could have a ton of information depending on the type of project. In general, it should always contain the project title, a description of the project, and any installation or usage instructions. These include configurations, environment variables, and more. Anything you think people should know about the project should be in the readme file. Depending on the size of the project, you can have individual readme files for nested folders and components. Next is header documentation at the top of the source code files. Here you want to write the quick description of what the code in the file does. If it's part of a package, you might want to add the package name and any copyright details. Some people add the author's name, but that eventually becomes obsolete because the author will most likely not own the code forever. Multiple people will work on it after them, and it becomes pointless to add everyone's name. Others also add a changelog, which is unnecessary if you use a version control system like Git. Finally, we have inline documentation. This documentation is usually on top of methods, or in the case of Python, inside the method. The syntax differ depending on the language, but it should generally describe what the method does, the method arguments, and the outputs. In languages like Java, this information will be used to generate an extensive documentation of the entire code base. Throughout this video, I've intentionally used the word documenting and not commenting because they are two different things but are often interchanged. The consensus is that if you write code that is simple enough to understand by keeping your methods and functions short and naming your variables properly, there will be no need to add inline comments to your code. Anyone reading the code will be able to understand what the code is doing. If you are in a peculiar situation where you have to explain some complex logic, then by all means, go ahead and add the comment. Otherwise, try to write code in a way that doesn't require explanation. Follow all my calls for more coding tips like this.